Magda Olczak, PR expert and mentor of Startup Hub Warsaw. Uh, we've been talking a lot with investors, with due diligence experts, with analysts, but PR is a significant domain of every startup, very often underestimated and uh, not uh, sp spoken up loud. So, uh, what are the three main issues as far as PR is concerned when you start a very early stage high tech business? Uh, first and foremost, uh, the majority of startups which I've ever seen, uh, they focused on product, product, product. No marketing, no client, no communication. Then they create very complicated products, very advanced with a lot of functionalities, but they can't communicate it with the market. And it's all about PR because uh, they, they have to focus uh, not even a lot of time, just a bit of time to learn and to communicate their product, not only to potential clients, but to journalists, which are evangelists of their product and they can support the product or just the opposite. So uh, I guess that uh, a lot of startups, they underestimate PR. Very often startups uh, ask us in Startup Hub Poland, in our ecosystem, hey Maciek, how to reach this and that journalists? Do you have any advices for, for these guys? You have to know which journalist might be interested in your story. How do you know that? Uh, you have to read their articles and check and which one are suitable for your product. So, because as I know that many startups, they focus on journalists which are uh, not relevant for their product. If you don't have idea how to make a research, just start read portals, uh, start check Facebook uh, and very popular fan page of startups, and you will see who is who in there. In the in the in fair there. enough. And then I know that these guys and this girl are top journalists in my industry. How to approach them? In different ways. So if you see that that journalist is very act active on Twitter. You it happens can, very often. It happens very often, no problem to, to catch them on Twitter. If you see that they use Facebook only for, uh, for private purposes, you just skip Facebook or when they are not uh, very active on Twitter, forget about Twitter. So you have to write email to them. And on top of everything, they are present in many events, conferences. Mm -hmm. So And they are normal people, so you can just go and start to pitch them. But if you start to pitch journalists, you have to know how to pitch journalists. So tell us a little bit. I know that most of these uh, advices or skills you will transfer or share with our attendee, with our participants during Startup Hub War, so this uh, September. Yes. But uh, if you can just give us a hint how to do that, how to pitch in the right way a journalist. Uh, I think that you should find something which will be crucial, but not for you, not for investors, no, for, for the audience. So if your startup has something significant for, for I don't know, for, for life of many people, or there is some very uh, advantage which might be very, very useful for a big group of people. Start from this, from this point. Or if you have some good research and you know that your market is very, very big and you don't have competitors, show it. But show some one or two things which are crucial, which are really important, but you have to forget your perspective. Think about the readers, about the audience. Are, are there any uh, tools to teach our ingenious colleagues, our uh, most prominent startuppers, those guys who will come to Startup Hub Warsaw, how to explain what is the thing they are coming with? Uh, I think that they should, that the very good task is to try explain your mother what's about this your startup. And if you your can. Your mom, it, yes? You yes, just your start. mom. Just if your mom <laughs> will understand, it means that, that you are good. So, yeah, it's. and. Contacts with journalists are very, very useful because you learn how to explain your startup. Because very often I end up in the situation that I am after 15 minutes of presentation of startup and what's it all about? So it's, it's some kind of art to explain even your very complicated idea in a very simple way. The last thing I would like to enclose before you start uh, talking to projects here in uh, Poland, in Warsaw, is are those skills about PR, communication, marketing helpful when you approach the investor? 
they are very helpful because you you have a lot of trainings with journalists and if you because investors I I know and I believe that they are in the, the end of the day very normal usual people they are not they are investors they are experts in fundraising uh, finance numbers they are not transactions transactions yes negotiations but they are not top experts top engineers so if you can explain journalist your idea and the journalist will understand for sure you can explain it to investors and the very last question magda is uh, let's forget for a moment that we are deep in the startup industry uh, please answer my question as a warsaw dweller warsaw citizen what are the most favorite things or you know magical places which you like most of all and you would recommend our guests from outside of warsaw to see when they come for um, trainings and workshops here in september for sure they have to relaxing uh close to vistula river because everybody say that is it yes, so because good place it's 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 a very good place because this uh these beaches are very wild and they are in the heart of the warsaw in the heart of the city and i i think that warsaw is the only place on earth which i've saw uh where we have the the wild beaches in in the middle of the Town. So, so let's let's stay with that wild beaches and uh, startup industry uh, experts yes. await in Warsaw. So thank you very much, Magda. I hope to talk more about these uh, things that you that we started here uh, during our startup hub Warsaw acceleration program. Thank you.